Hey guys, this week we started something new. We did daily vlogging where we went on at certain points throughout the day and we chimed on to let you guys basically see what was going on that day. So the thought was is that we combine all those together and make one long weekly vlog. We don't really know how we're gonna do it yet, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try this week with what we came up with so far. So for this week, we didn't do one on Monday because Fernando was out. Uh, and if you guys caught the Facebook Live show, Paul was hosting it with me this week. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go back and see it. It was a different perspective on what we normally talk about because you could ask actual business questions. Uh, you guys also said that you want to have more of Paul, so we're going to go ahead and do some more with him at some point. Don't know when. So let's fast forward to Tuesday. Tuesday, we're working on a Volkswagen Golf. Uh, putting the Pioneer system in it, as well as we are doing some testing for the Facebook Live show where we have you guys chime in. So let's go ahead and take a look at that as it's already going. Answer questions better, because um, it's really hard to do. And apparently we missed a couple questions last night. How'd y'all like last night? Should we have Paul on more? Um, let us know. Uh, he had a really great time. It's the first show he's ever been on. Yeah. That better? No, I'm not white as can be. <laughs> there you go. Right, but yeah, but as soon as they go quick, see if you can scroll down. Like, yeah, I keep can. chiming in, saying hi. We need the, we need the, we need them flipping, flipping. Yeah, whatever. So we can see if we can scroll through this thing quicker. We're trying out a new app to see uh, to try to help us out a little bit. Cause you guys ask a ton of questions. Last night was the most questions you guys have ever asked. It was incredible. Um, so thanks a lot for that. We had a ball. That's Paul's first show. It definitely went very well. So what do you got going on over there? Oh, you know what? I want to show you guys this. This is cute. Hold on. Let me grab the phone. All right. So check this out. All right. This is some of the... Go ahead and pull that off. Pull okay. that off. All right. So we're replacing these. He's got some rocker speakers in here. He wants to go with some Alpines. These were his. He bought the car like this. Um... So, no faster. No, it's yeah, no, gonna go be a slow. Go a little faster, man. The suspension's killing you. All right, so these speakers are a little bit deeper than the than the window allows. So for a spacer, these guys used. You ready? Yes, yes, we're ready. They took the grill for the speaker and busted out the mesh, and they're using that as the spacer for this speaker so it was mounted like that in the door that's awesome and it totally didn't need to because i don't that. even think it hits the window oh yeah they, oh yeah there you go look at those connections those are awesome hey andrew it's nets netza netza wow yeah i know right well you know this is this is the fun we deal with on a daily basis um but yeah so here check this out this is what we got going on in the back here um so there was a, an existing rockford amplifier here an old school prime uh so we just made it a little bit bigger and of course added a a uh he this was his amp and we still had some of the matching four channels so we went ahead and put in the four channel bring it around to this side and for all you guys that are always like are the RCAs and the power wire down different sides of the car? Yes, this is this is the RCA ran here. So it is down the different side of the car. Um, mainly just not for noise, but for the fact that we do have two 4 gauge that are running here. So a lot of stuff. It's more for room. So the problem that we run into is on the Facebook Live, when we log in on our actual Facebook account and he's trying to read the questions, it won't allow us to go back up, so we miss a bunch of questions. And, of course, Paul's was the first time he'd ever done it last night, and we missed a ton of questions, and, uh, which I apologize. We, you know, we, we try to answer as many of them as possible. Next week, we'll be able to keep up. So, yeah, if you guys want to see more Paul, let us know. I mean, um... Yeah, there's no reason why we can't put them in. We can do a show with all three of us. That would be fun. You know, if you guys would like little things like this where we pop in and just check out, show what we're doing, um, let us know. We got a visitor. All right, guys, we're going to let you get back to your day. You're all right. <laughs>
See ya! Along with me not knowing what day of the week it was, we had a Toyota RAV4 come in for radio replacement. The factory unit had died even though it was a touchscreen. We were doing an upgrade. Let's check it out. Holy crap. Tell wow. me what day it is. Yeah, apparently you need to tell me what day it is because I don't know. Um, but today is Wednesday and what we have in here today is a nice little Toyota RAV4. And uh, we're doing a radio swap in this thing. Um, Check this out. So this is the factory radio right here. He's got a cool touchscreen already, and he's taking it out. What are we putting? Uh, that one. Show him that one. The 391. Yep. Okay. Good enough. Now, the reason why he's taking this out is the factory screen is already dead, which is kind of amusing. But what we thought would be interesting to show you guys, because you guys ask this question a lot of time about wiring harnesses and missing wires, and I've hooked this up and it doesn't work, is that, all right, so today we're using this uh, Radio Pro 4 to install the radio. And this is my most irritated harness. This yeah. harness drives me up the wall, okay, nuts. The reason why is because it comes with more plugs then it comes with all these plugs, okay? It comes with all these plugs, okay? And my OCD won't let me put plugs that aren't in the car in the car. I can't, I can't do it. it. It drives me up. So I have to go through and remove the harnesses that, and then re-solder the harness back together. And, of course, now I'm going to pretty it up. You guys have all seen that. But check this out. Come on into the car and let me show you what we do. Could you hold that for yes, me, sir? Be the camera guy yes, for now. I can be the camera guy. I can be the camera guy. Okay, so in here are all these harnesses right here. So what we do is we go ahead and plug in what we feel or what we what we need. So that one doesn't match. This one here matches. And then these two don't plug in anywhere. This one's close, but it's not it. This one doesn't. This would be for an amplified system. So then I take a Sharpie and I put an X on them. You can see the X here. So that I know what harnesses I need to retain. Then the next trick is, is there's all these extra wiring. Like for example, on there, there's like a ton of extra, uh, this is a white with red and black. And these are data wires. So they go to the ODB2, or if this already has the data in it, you can, um, you can, you know, you don't need to run that. So there again, you gotta, gotta cut it out and, and you know, solder the wires together. Um, so it can be a real pain, but in the end, this is gonna look extremely sexy. And it's not like there's a ton of room in this dash. Show, show them the hole in this dash. I mean, so we have, you know, there's there's limited amount of room in the dash to, to put all this stuff. So all this stuff, this big giant brain box, it's all gotta go in there. So removing these extra harnesses is, is a great idea. It takes takes a little bit of work though just just a tad um, now things that we're able to do if you guys saw the video we did on the Highlander uh -huh. um, we were able to retain all the existing stuff so for example here's the factory USB cable right here we have an adapter for that here's the factory backup camera we have an adapter for that Here's the factory aux that's part of the brain box here uh -huh. he's got all these cool steering wheel controls. Uh, volume up down answer all this other stuff. We're gonna retain all that So even though he had a cool touchscreen in here, we're gonna keep all that stuff Hot damn, right? Isn't that exciting? That's so exciting. Yeah The only downside to it is we have to Use this Redo harness. the whole thing because I hate it And it's not like it. It just doesn't even make sense, man. I mean, it I know that even on block yeah. <laughs> Shush. I mean, I know the guy that designed the harness, and it's like, dude, what were you thinking? Oh, uh, I didn't think they were going to actually produce that harness. I mean, you don't have to go through all the heartache that I go through. There's there's no question that it's, it's, it's not necessary for sure. But now, of course, the other part of any install is the dash kit. Okay. And that was Fernando's job. Show him the dash kit, buddy. Here, I'll take over. Okay, well the dash kit that was not that hard, but it's always 
Yeah, so you have to put at least a cover so you don't scratch this. Yes, our, this is our patented uh, black fuzzy carpet. Or yes. charcoal so you fuzzy don't, carpet. You don't scratch the pretty dash kit they have. And so. it is pretty. They actually do a factory match. Mm -hmm. You can see this isn't the crappy black. This is a best kits kit. Uh, we try to use those. Here's the. Uh, this one? Yeah, it's this one here. Uh, just in case you're wondering, American International is owned by Best Kits, which is now called Pack Kits because everything's going to pack. All right, hold on. There you so, go. oh, sorry, I didn't mean to make any. Funny side note: um, when we did the Pack Pro, yeah. okay, uh, our boy Nathan over at Pack, who yeah. uh, who hooks us up, he's an old friend of mine. He's one of the guys that. I sent him the link to the video, and I call it a Pack Audio product. And he texted me back, and what did he say? Uh, um, it's not Pack Audio anymore. It's just Pack. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. yeah, I know that. You know that. But the website's still Pack Audio. So if you actually want people to go to the site, just change the name to Pack, which you can't do. Or let me just call it Pack Audio so that people yeah. know how I want people to buy the stuff. Yeah. It's freaking hilarious. Either way, just sorry to interrupt. Pack. Yeah. Uh, dash kit is ready. Ready is ready. So we're just waiting for the for wait, the harness. Wait. The slow guy doing yes. the harness. No, we're just waiting for the harness. Now, one one little thing, one little quick note. When you're screwing these things together, there's lines, the gaps. Yeah. Pay attention to the gaps. Nothing sucks worse than getting a radio in and it's off by a sixteenth or a thirty seconds of an inch, and the radio sitting crooked in the dash. I know most people won't see it like this. Won't see it, but it drives me nuts. So yeah. always when you're tightening these, these screws up here, use a screwdriver and keep an eye on those lines so that the radio looks nice and flush with the dash. Yeah. All right. And Real quick, funny guy, if you guys caught, if any of you guys caught the, uh, the five channel amp install video from yesterday, a guy totally punked me on it. It was great. Because uh, we put the CD in, the, in to do the face check. Okay. And the guy says, "What was the name of that round tool? One. What was the name of that round shiny tool you guys were using in that car at uh, minute ten oh one?" And I was like, I have, I "Shiny? Have, yeah, it was a CD." Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. It was a CD. <laughs> CD's nuts. Anyways, okay, guys, we're gonna get out of here. On Thursday, we had another fun yeah, install you know, where a customer man. brought in a Genesis I have a headache. to have us. Wow. Basically fix everything that another shop has done. <laughs> to sum up the install, it was kind of amusing. Towards the end, she re she says to us, you know, you guys charged me a lot more than the last guys, but now I see why. And it really kind of sums up, you'll see a before and after video here on what we did. And yeah, that's why we charge more. So let's get to it. All right, here we go. So what, what do we got going on? Talk to me. What kind of car do we got? Well, this is the um, the Genesis Coupe. The Genesis Coupe. Yeah. Right? And so, uh, she didn't want to replace her factory radio. No, she doesn't want to. Here, show, show them what we got over there. Okay, Put so... You, you got your hand in front of the camera. I'm so though. sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, like she, like he say, she don't want to replace the radio. So we have an EQ over here. Now, this thing is awesome because the factory aux is broke. She's using the aux on the EQ. But they didn't connect all the speakers to the aftermarket amplifier. So she literally has to turn the radio down. So some of the speakers don't play. Uh, I've, I've never seen anything like it in my life. So they, they ran wires. And they just leave the booth like that. Just hanging in there. Yeah, look at the tweeter. Look up top, or look at them, whatever that, oh, that okay, so that's what that's for. Okay. Uh, this is for the, um... The mirror. The mirror. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so not much going on underneath the hood. They had the wire run through, you know, the side here and coming in through the blue, so we've already taken that off. So, what, what are we doing? Well, you know... What do they have to look forward to today? So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and tear this thing apart. Yeah. And we're putting all new... All new stuff in it, basically. And so what we'll do is we'll come back on later today and we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Obviously, this is gonna be a fun one. We're not filming it. We don't We don't have any of the cameras set up for it. I think you guys have seen enough of these 911 rescues that we, we don't need to uh, show another one. You guys get the idea. We see some crazy ass shit. Yeah. But, like, check this out. So this is amusing. So you... you this is what we got hooked up here. This is a five channel amp, all right? 
and so we have the sub wires here and this is everything else so we're not using any of the right channels the high level to low level which was right Lamp. here was only hooked up to the passenger rear speaker that was it that's all it was hooked up to I, it's wow can't wait to see a lot see. of going on right here yeah Oh no, these subs, these things, dude, that was the other thing. She's like, every time I hit a bump, my subs cut off. And they roll around in the trunk. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make everything look pretty. And when we get done, we'll come back on and we'll tell you all about it. Yeah, or show you, show, you. show you how pretty it was so you guys can get a nice live before and after. Hot Ooh. damn. <laughs> Yeah, so excited. All right, it's going to be much later today. This one's going to yeah, take a minute. Like a so, 6.30. <laughs> yeah, so you, you guys always wonder how long these things take. You're going to find out today. So, all right, guys, stay tuned later today. We'll come back on, and we'll show you how this thing looks when we're done. Now, keep in mind, we're, we're, we're just fixing this. So, right, she's getting two new amps, though, right? Yes, yes. Um, she's getting two new Pioneer two amps? New all right, Pioneer. so we are putting in some new amps. So, other than that, she's keeping the EQ. She's keeping the box. She's keeping this the box. box he's, he's really hung up on that for some reason. Yeah. He, he really I mean, is. He's, he's like, asked me five times, are we keeping this box? It's, look at this. You know, Come on, people. Please. He, he, please. Look he, at this. He's like, are we keeping this box? Wow, I just went white. Look how white I am. Yes, you are white. And you I'm kind of white. Look at that. Else. Yeah, hey, there you go. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, we'll talk to you later today. We need to get this thing. We need to get this going. Well, well, well. What's up, my friend? I'm tired. Can I go home now? Oh, quit your whining, you big baby. So what do we got? We done? We done. Check it out over here. Oh yeah, we got an EQ. It's not mounted yet. It's not mounted well, yet. Well, okay. this is gonna be the end. Yeah, uh, I hate EQs. I'm just gonna yes. tell you right now. Um, we really wanted to replace the radio, but the customer had the EQ, wanted to keep the EQ. So uh, do we need to phase check it? Ah, uh, yeah. Let's, Let's face check this All bad right. boy. Let me, let me, let me train the track. Give me All right. Alright. Yeah, we got volume. Alright, check the tweetas. You good over there, man? You're, you're, you're killing us. Go to the next tweeter. <laughs> Everything look good? Yes. All right. So you always want to phase check using that shitty tool again. Hey, call it what you like. It works. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, you can even see it. I, it doesn't matter. You can see it. All right, yeah, that one's good. Yeah. All right, so here's what we did in the back. We uh, added the two new Pioneer amps. Took out what we had before. Obviously, we had to keep the box. Fernando loves that. We made a cool amp rack here where the wires go. Try to hold this still. Where the wires, there's a tunnel here for the wires to run up underneath the amplifiers. And they come out the bottom here. And then, of course, they're all insulated as they go through the car. You can kind of see where we started the insulation here and then insulated it all the way through. You saw how we pulled the whole car apart, so we had plenty of room to zip tie the wire in. You know what? Here, let me do this real quick. Okay, give me one second. Let me take it out. Go ahead, pull that up. So there you go. So that's that's uh, that's the wiring underneath the kitchen. Let me open the uh, Are those okay. subs in a bookshelf box? Yes, they are. Wow. They are totally in they a bookshelf are... box. Can you help? Help! Come on, little man. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Okay, let me put it back. Oh, hey, there I am. Hi, guys. Hi. Yeah, we're using the phone. So, yeah, we, we cleaned this car all the way up. Oh, yeah, let's take a look underneath the hood. I did find the... Follow uh, me, people. I found the fuse holder. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I remember because we had removed it. Uh, it was laying right here on the I floor. I threw it away. What, what, what the hell? This one. All right, was... here we go. Here's the fuse holder right here, guys. That's that's it right there. Apparently the fuse blew, and that's how they fixed it. Awesome. So what we went ahead and did is, of course, added in our two fuse holders, our mounts. Red, so it's easy to see that this is the positive. 
um, added, they had run it through the door sill. Of course, we grommeted it, siliconed it on the inside so that we'll get no water in the car when it rains here we in Florida. We fixed the grommets. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. We took a... Uh, and fix, uh, turn the popping off. Yeah, give me one second. So, well, we'll ruin the, uh, okay. So, yeah, we put the grommets so, back together. So, mm -hmm. those are all, those are all back, nice. Yeah. Um, this is gonna be the, this is the power wire. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, there's the power wire. Okay. Nice and secured zip ties at all the factory zip tie points. And, of course, taped all the way up so that it's nice and no one's gonna trip over it. Yep. Oh, here, wait a minute. Hold on. Here we go. Good job, Fernando. Good job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, it did, Andrew. It did run through the door jam, but we went ahead and fixed that. Yeah. I know that's how you like to do things over there, but you know. Um, so really, yeah, we, we kept those boxes. You know, believe it or not, those boxes sound quite amazing. I, I, I yeah. I, no, no, no. Um, we should, we should, we should. On the side, on the side. Where's that? I don't know what I'm doing. There you go, come on. I'm making everyone sick because I'm moving around. Follow me. So, yeah, so... We should change the box. <laughs> <laughs> so, at the end of the day, we did both the box together and, of course, attached it to the car. Now, th um, remember, we're working in a budget, people. Yeah, yeah. This, so, this is this not is, what we wanted. Yes, yeah. But it's like customers. So Sometimes you work with what, what the cards are. Yeah. Uh, we know at some point she probably is going to get a new box. We left enough speaker wire so that we can change that out to something at a yeah. later date when budget allows. Um, let's listen to it. Okay. Uh, do you have your phone? I have my phone. Because I'm using my phone for something else. Oh. Well, that's not a problem. Uh, sorry guys, I don't mean to make anyone motion sickness here. Ooh, I'm gonna put my favorite son. Okay, all right, sorry guys, sorry guys. All right. Turn the volume down a little bit. Got to get to the actual base part, because otherwise okay. Facebook's gonna flag us for right. copyright infringement. Right. So play the. All right, all right people. That's enough of that before we get flagged for copyright. It's all good. It's all good. Um. So here we go. So this 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 guy's put together. Yeah. Right, the, yeah. The final we, thing is gonna mount the um the EQ. Here, why well, I move my hand so yeah, I'm not. I'm so, I'm so amateur in this. Uh, we'll make these better as time goes on. We're we're definitely amateuring these uh, Facebook, Facebook lives, lives while yeah. we're doing these. I feel terrible. Uh, we'll we'll get them better because you guys know me. Is I, I gotta buy something that's gonna make it better and yeah. It's, just, just, yeah. Okay. Easy there, Obi Wan Kenobi. Hey man. Um. All right. Well, hey guys. Uh, if you're just chiming in and you didn't catch earlier today, this was a 911 rescue, so go back and check that out. Yeah. Also, there's a couple more days left on the t-shirt. If you guys want to get the five-star t-shirt, teespring.com backslash five-star T, all spelled out, all letters. Um, also, we want to put, like, uh, pictures before and after, so if you yeah, guys yeah. want to see it. Yeah, if you, want, if you want to see the, uh, yeah. what, what we had to do here. Um, Other than that... Yeah, I mean, at, at the end of the day, this was this was get it in, get it fixed. We do a lot of those, as you guys know. Uh, sometimes we have to work with what the customers give us, and we make the best of it because every car, every piece of equipment deserves a quality install. I don't care if it is a POS amplifier. If it's installed properly, it will look good, and it will sound good. So, you know, don't sell yourself short. Always expect quality work. That's that. And we'll end it at that. You got anything to say? Oh. All right, guys. Thank you. We hope you like these things. We're going to keep doing them. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. If you like it, share. Tell us you like these things. We'll yeah. try to do them. All right. You guys have a good night, man. We'll see you tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> All right. Bye. On Friday, we had a G35 come in for a radio swap. We had previously put an amp in earlier in the week, but we couldn't continue to work on it because Fernando was a little too creeped out, which we show you a little bit of in the video. <laughs> what does somebody got to do to get you mad? <laughs>
this, this, this. I think your I think your car's rolling. This is not. What, fun. what are you talking about? What is what? Ah, that right there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least it's not moving. <laughs> Seriously, dude. So what do we got going on in here? Well, I want to replace this the a, beautiful radiant right this here. A, this is a to be continued, I'm, I'm guessing, from the other day, right? What is that, anyway? Oh, XQ Vision. SX what? XQ. I think it's a D. Is that a D or a Q? No, that's Q. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't what even know that? what it is. I don't know. Either way, it's a piece of crap. Um, so... That's what we want to replace. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Not really. Hey, how many of you guys have these cool uh, Infinity slash Nissan, Toyota, whatever is with the cracked dash? Yeah. Jeez. Does that suck? I got one. Hey, Milton. XO Vision Walmart. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for uh, chiming in on that. Uh, so, hey, guys. What's going on? It's a beautiful Friday. I uh, hope everyone is enjoying their day. Yeah. Let's do this. I'm trying something new here with the whole. I gotta get a steady cam, I think. So, let's, let's turn the AC off. So, yeah, well, hey, oh, it's JT Murphy. Happy birthday, buddy. Oh, yeah, happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, what, what, you know, You're it's Friday. So three times. I said so three times with a needle and thread. Um, and I said um, I'm um, doing great. It um, means I'm searching. So, um, I'm, 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 uh, uh, I'm uh, uh, yeah. Well, it's Friday. It's a beautiful Friday. Tomorrow, Fernando has the day off uh, because he has to take care of some family business. Um, we'll have a substitute teacher in for the day. I know, right? Uh, yeah. So I don't think we'll film tomorrow unless there's something just really cool that we have that I feel you guys should see. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't think. Yeah. Everybody wants that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, but yeah. No. So hope you guys have a great weekend. Yeah. I don't know what else you got. It's been a it's been a weird day so far. I mean, we had uh, had a car come in six by nines in the rear deck. Had another car come in. Six by nines in the rear deck. I haven't put six by nines in the rear deck in a car. This is the second G, th the Infinity. The first one. We oh yeah, just we did. just did a G37. Now we have yeah. a G35. Yeah. So it's been it's been an interesting day. It's been one of those days that it's like we were gonna film during the G37, but we don't have time. No, we had time. I just was like, I don't really want to talk about that one. Really? Um, yeah. Yeah. That was another like. I thought you guys might be finished with seeing the uh, the, the, the five star fixes, as it were. Um, all right, oh, but hey, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Here you go, people. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. So, all right. So interestingly enough, this is high level to low level right here. We actually put this in the other day as a fix because the preamp section on this radio puts out such a small amount of voltage. So nothing. Basically nothing. That it wouldn't even make the it wouldn't even give the amplifier sound. So we installed the amplifier before. And the reason why we didn't do the radio at that time is because we were just scared, scared for our lives because of the thing I just showed you earlier that's dead now. So we let the customer take the car and fix that. It happens, not the end of the world, you know. Don't eat in your car. Um, <laughs> So we actually, to fix, just so we could get it rolling, we actually had to put a high level, low level adapter off of this wonderful radio. Yeah. Uh, and there again, we just butt connected it in because it was like, you know, we just need to fix this for now. But yeah, who doesn't love crimp caps? I love them. Yeah, no. Um, so yeah, yeah, lovely, lovely. So this is obviously going to look a lot prettier when we're done. Um, so stay tuned for the coming back man we're not it's friday man because people are people want to get done with their jobs and get the hell home and get on with the weekend right i mean shit shit oh it cussed i'm not supposed to cuss they told me i wasn't supposed to cuss but i mean dude friday ready friday friday no it's not friday it's not well, friday actually, for it's friday, friday, friday for you yes! honestly if i were you i'd want to work tomorrow what because what you have to do, I would much rather work. 
Well, yes, but you know, it's just. It's oh, hey, Gabby, how you doing, buddy? Who's that? Gabby. Oh, Gabby. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get in trouble. <laughs> um, All right, so, so let's start doing this. Do we have to? All right, so we're gonna take this thing over to the bench. Uh, he's gonna try to clean up as much of this as he can. I'm gonna try to figure out if I can get this radio look good in the dash. I mean, guys, I'm gonna head over to the bench because I got to put this bad boy in. Uh, apparently he likes the 6.2 inch, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this nice Pioneer. Where did you put my, oh, let's go grab this at Fernando's workbench. Take this over here. All right, so we got that. So you guys want to, yes, Jason, we will see you. And that brings us week to a close. Like I said, this is something we're trying out. We're going to fool around with it and see what we can come up with. We'll come up with a, an intro, an outro, music, and all that fun stuff if you guys are into it. Um, we'll, we'll play it out for a couple weeks, uh, see, uh, see what the interest is, and we'll go from there. So thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you Monday when it all starts over again. Bye.